Let's face it, life isn't easy. If you're stuck in a bad relationship, betrayed or afraid of tomorrow, financially insecure or desperate for a breakthrough, you've come to the right place. Dr. Carmen Hara is a renowned psychologist, intuitive, relationship expert, and best-selling author, and she's here to give you the miracle guidance you need. Her new call-in show, Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life, offers profound wisdom, practical advice, daily exercises, and empowering predictions, all for you. Dr. Hara's show aims to eliminate everyday problems, big and small, with topics like healing your relationships, reclaiming your power, achieving better health, dealing with loss, and so much more. Regain the joy, stability, and fulfillment you deserve to feel. Tune in to Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life with host Dr. Carmen Hara, live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and find the answers you've been looking for. Good evening, everybody. So excited to be with you uh, tonight, like every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern on Home Time Radio, my favorite station. And as you know me very well, I'm always trying to come up with different things that we can talk about. And always remember, this is a calling show, so you're very welcome to join the show and uh, um, talk to me directly and call 202-570-7057. And my amazing producer, Christopher, will um, connect you with me and we will be able to communicate. And uh, whenever you have a question, this is the show to call in that discuss as for guidance and see what else um, I have to say. And uh, debates are always uh, uh, an extraordinary thing to analyze a situation. But tonight I said, okay, let's talk about what to do to help a relationship, to make a relationship flourish. As you know very well, I'm a, a relationship expert. I'm a therapist. I did marriage counseling for many years in New York. And I love um, to help somebody uh, make their love thrive and uh, succeed, you know, in their relationships. And um, tonight, like no other night, we will have to dissect into this topic, and uh, um, we have to admit it takes a lot of time to make a relationship work, and it takes very little to break it apart. Arguments, uh, false expectation, external influences are just some of the things that can actually ruin a relationship that probably has a wonderful bond. But at the end of the, way, the day, it's up to you and to your partner to put uh, put it in the uh, in the work and uh, uh, to change it around so you go back to that fulfilling relationship that you were supposed to have. Then tonight I'm going to give you the so-called golden rules of a good relationship. And you have, if you know more rules, call me and let me know. I'm always ready to learn something new. Or if you have any kind of a relationship questions, feel free to call me and let me know if you... Um, concerned about something or any other question that you might have, this is a calling show. But um, reality is that um, uh, we always, uh, um, at the end of the day, you know, we, we um, are uh, disappointed if something doesn't go right in, in the relationship with our partner. But the, the first thing we need to understand is that um, it's very easy to ruin a positive relationship because you have what? False expectation from your partner. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the false expectation. This is something we all have to work on. Uh, everyone who's in a relationship expects, expects from the other half a lot uh, to get married at a certain time, to receive financial help for your partner. Uh, so you have to realistically ask yourself, you know, what can my partner really provide? You know, what can I, how can we make this relationship with less expectation and come together, you know, to unite into one single force? You remember, people won't give up um, so easily uh, on uh, uh, their relationship, but uh, you need to know what to expect and what you not to expect. And I'm going to go a little bit to the so-called 16 false expectations that actually can ruin a relationship. Um, because at the end of the day, what we choose to believe 
sharpens our reality and paints the portrait of our world. Uh, we can never go beyond our beliefs. This is one. Of, this is my philosophy. We are what we believe in, and we have to ensure that our beliefs support the relation we try to have, because we will experience problematic relationship if we're not grounded in beliefs about commitment. So setting on positive, constructive beliefs requires us to first uh, get rid of all this assumption, all the limitation that, of our potential to be in a loving relationship. Now, many cases we think we can never achieve that. So what this really means, it means relinquishing impractical ideas and viewing the situation we're in through a more realistic um, or, through, or in a more realistic way, through more realistic lens. So you have to evaluate whether do you hold any of the following 16 false assumptions that I'm going to tell you about. And then I'm going to go and take your calls because I can see we do have a lot of people tonight. We have, um, I'm looking, um, we have uh, Kim uh, from Florida, Catherine, Patty from Queens, Corey from New York, Susan, and it's um, like my producer said, the full house. So many people calling tonight, which I'm very grateful. Now let's let's go back to the false expectation. And I'm gonna, as I said, I put them, I wrote them down. It came to me like 16, 16 of them. Now the first one is that our chemistry will keep us together. That's false. Oh, we have the fireworks, uh, but you know what? The excitement and the chemistry wears off the the excitement of sex wears off because what happens is the dopamine in the brain the neurotransmitter called dopamine drops when people spend too much time together consequently the adrenaline goes down and the excitement is not there anymore mm -hmm. and a lot of people say well uh, i don't know what's wrong so i better find somebody else so this might sound like a negative scenario it's a reality for long-term relationship. So question is, what do we need to do to change this, to change this? But you have to make sure that you share common values that go beyond, way beyond chemistry. Because that's what you need to do if you really want to be with somebody for good, to keep you together with that, to, so that you, you are together with that person. Now that's the false expectation about chemistry. The second false expectation is, oh, he will provide for me. So your partner has to be, uh, you know, the one uh, obligated to provide for you. But what if your partner at some point does have the source of income? Or what if something happens to his career? What if something happens to him one day? Uh, to me, um, your significant other is never a financial plan. <laughs> the only person who will continue to provide for you should be you. Uh, well, many of you will say, well, that's why I got married, because I want him to provide. Uh, but reality is, and this, I think of my case, you know, one day my husband got sick and, and God bless his soul, he is no longer with me. So what saved me is, me trying to provide for myself. Uh, but a lot of people have a different opinion. But I stick by the fact that this is a false expectation. You must be able to distinguish be, be, between, um, um, you know, um, uh, uh, the, the fact that he, he is uh, doing it for you, he's giving it to you, or he might not be able to do it. So that's a false expectation. Another one is the fact that you think, oh, I can change him. Oh, I can change my partner. Oh, oh you know what? He will be different with me. You know, we, we, we hope we can make people behave differently. We can make people be different. But that's not, that's not true. To change a person, you must uh, feel, feel a need uh, that uh, to change a person that person, Scar, excuse me, first needs to feel a need within themselves to improve something in their behavior, to improve something about themselves. Um, that's essential. The moment you realize you're not changing that person, that person probably will change 
and will adjust to the situation or if he's willing to do it. If not, you cannot do it. That's a false expectation. Another one, a lot of women think, oh, I'm going to give him a child and their relationship will get better. Well, a child will not make your partner commit. And that's a very sad statement. Very sad statement. And I can tell from working with people for many, many years. Um, you know, it adds to the responsibility. The reality is that not even 10 children cannot make somebody commit. Because having a child is a blessing, but having a child with the right person is the biggest blessing. So here is the, here is the reality. So this is, at the end, a false statement and a false uh, expectation. Um, another one is, um, I don't need to change. I'm fine the way I am. You may be fine, uh, but uh, you're also imperfect. Just as your partner has personality traits that you don't like, you might have personality traits that he dislikes. So strive to evolve, progress, and become a kinder, more mindful person each day is actually not for, for, for him or for your partner. It's for yourself. Uh, another false expectation is when we say, if I complain, I get what I want. Speaking up when you treat it unfairly will certainly adjust the dynamic of a relationship, but constantly complaining might also create damage between you and your significant other. You must stand your ground without whining about every little thing. That's another false expectation. Uh, the past won't interfere. Uh, that's another false uh, expectation because unless you close all the doors to your past, um, and and throw lock lock the door and and throw away the keys. The past will become will resurface. Will become part of the of the of the present and of the future. Uh, you must let things go in order for them to come to an end. You must really let them go, which many people don't think that they have to, and they continue to live in the past. If you want to prevent certain things from happening, you must detach from the past in this very moment and focus on here and on right now. Uh, another false expectation is when you think that this thing will never happen to me. That's also false because we are all like, um, we all want to think that nothing bad will ever happen to us. But then, you know what? Things bad things happen. Betrayal happens. Disputes happen. Dif uh, difficulties are part of everyday life. While you shouldn't live life worrying, that something awful is going to happen. You should be prepared for anything in relationship. The safest course is to expect the unexpected. So again, that will never happen to you. It's a false expectation. Uh, who cares about the stupid football game? <laughs> Do you know it's a misconception that men don't need pampering or they don't require attention or they don't require care. Uh, respect your partner's hobbies. That's very important. So don't think that it's not important to encourage him to do whatever brings him joy. And if it is, brings him joy to watch the football game, allow that to happen. Um, there's another thing, you know, that is false. If I make him jealous, he will want me more. That's a false expectation. Because doing things to make a man jealous would only end up doing more more harm, more hurt. You will hurt the relationship. You should make your partner aware of the fact that you will walk away if he doesn't treat you well. But there is a better way of making him realize this by just uh, invoking uh, jealousy. So negative emotion will never, will never, never uh, be, be uh, positive, never be positive. So don't forget that. So I'm giving you all, um, all the things that you need to know and I can go on and on and on. For instance, I can replace him. That's a false expectation. A new partner won't be better. You get rid of the one you have. He may be different. It's not that easy to replace somebody. Some, sometimes, you know, we are not just a car to replace. We're human beings. And some human beings can be hard to replace. I agree that everybody is replaceable. But when it comes to love, when it comes to karma, when it comes to... The connection of the soul, that's not an easy thing to do. 
another one another false expectation he has to be dark he has to be handsome he has to be rich no he doesn't have to be because the only place you'll only find prince charming is in the children's book is in your dreams the man who will make you uh, the happiest uh, you know will have problems will be, will be um, problems that can be temporary some of them permanent um, well, let's let's go of the notion that somebody has to be perfect flawless because uh, if not you know we're in a never ending frustration so and again that's another false statement so if you can take all these false statements that frequently harm a relationship then we on the right path of finding you know the golden rules of a relationship and i'm going to take a short break and then i'm going to go to your calls because i have so many of you and i'm going to go straight to my first caller kim then catherine then patty then Coy, then Susan. So you guys hold on the line. I'll be with you in a moment. The best of the holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Connect at ohmtimes.com. Ohm Times, creating a more conscious lifestyle. Shift your life at Shift New York. This year, the 16th Annual Shift New York Holistic and Psychic Fair will celebrate your healing and wellness. Join us this October 29th and 30th as we are featuring top holistic practitioners and the best spiritual teachers from the Northeast. Join one of our free workshops on spiritual topics to help you shift your life. Discover dream interpretation, animal communication, sound healing, and so much more. Other activities include tarot reading, alternative energy, spiritual healing, mediumship. Private readings and energy healings are also available. You will not want to miss this. Pre-book to guarantee your spot. Shift your life with us. Learn more at shiftnewyork.com. You came across someone struggling with hunger. How would you recognize them? Would you notice an eight-year-old girl who's, who's not, not excited, excited for, for summer, summer break because she may not be having lunch again until September? Or a war veteran who's, who's having, having a hard, hard time, time landing, landing a job and getting back on his feet. I am the one in eight Americans who struggle with hunger. I, I am hunger, hunger in, in America. America. Hunger can be hard to recognize. Learn why at IamHungerInAmerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. And I'm back. So excited to talk to you tonight. Uh, how to make love uh, thrive. How to make a relationship flourish. So this is a calling show, so I'm going to go straight to the calls, uh, and um, um, I'm going to talk first to um, Kim uh, in Florida. Hi, my lovely Kim. How are you, my dear? Hey, Carmen. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> good to hear your voice. How have you been? I I'm pretty good. Um, good. I just uh, I wanted to share that um, I... On Friday, I'm closing on my house. Wow! Congratulations. So you see, it did happen. It happened. Didn't we, sp didn't happened. we speak so, on the radio quite for a while that you're going to buy a house? And I keep on insisting, yes, I see you buying this house. I see, and for that, I'm really proud of you. I, I'm super excited. We've been talking about this seriously since January. And it's, so it's been a right. long haul. But um, I do have a quick question on it. My landlord today just called me and said he, he, I, he gave me about $70,000 worth of equity on the house. He's a wonderful man. He's generous. He's just sweet. And he just told me that mm -hmm. if he has to pay the, he might have to pay taxes on that. And if so, hmm. he'd want me to pay that. And I don't have that. Mm. And now I'm a little nervous that we're so close to closing. And he sprung this on me today. Um, he's from Maryland. I don't know how that works. But you still see this happening, right? Because <laughs> I'm having oh, yeah. faith in it. Absolutely. I see this happening. 
I mean, you came so far. What? You came so far, and he will definitely help you through the process. He will definitely so make he, it like you will you will be able to close on the house. So we'll make it work somehow because he wants me to pay him. If I have to pay, and he said it would be ten thousand, and I don't have that, so I'm like, I don't know. Like, is this gonna like break the deal? I don't. I'm not necessarily. I'm not feeling that you'll have to pay that intuitively. I just go by my intuitive mind. I okay. Don't think you'll well, that makes me happy to pay. Mm -hmm. Well, good. I well, that's you. the happy news. It's the very the happy other news. The question I had with you is: I was um, seeing a, um, a man. Um, he just broken up with a you know a, a long relationship, and I, he didn't. He needed to sort out his 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 feelings and repair himself and. We, we, mm -hmm. We're just friends, and I was just wondering, would this, is this ever going to move to the next, you know, anything deeper than what we are now? I mean, yeah. He tells me I, like, I love you. He tells me I love you, but it's mm. not like I love you. It, it, I don't know if he's trying to hold on to me so I don't disappear on him, but he knows what I want, and, but again, I don't want to be a rebound. And I respect him, but I was just curious on your thoughts. No, you're not a rebound. Mm -mm, you're not. He's just, um, you know, you're not at, the, at that beginning phase in which he's trying to see who you really are, you know, and what are you up to, and if if this is something really that you want, you know, it's a, you know, at the beginning of a relationship, you are taste testing the waters to see how it goes, and I think that's what he's doing, and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. I mean, there's like we'll go a week without talking i mean when i say friends we're we're mm -hmm. just friends and right and i just wanted you to understand like there's no intimacy i mean he'll kiss me and stuff but that's as far as it goes i don't you know but do you think that it this can possibly come around anytime soon it's been five months uh, and i'm out dating I'm, in, I'm not i'm not waiting around for him and he knows that good. but um i do it always goes back to him i like him and I, I hope it right. does. And I, what is your right. thought? Mm, I think you are wanting to live in the moment. I think that, that you should not um, um, concentrate on this. Just concentrate on living in the present. Don't even think whether, you know, there is a coming back or any of this. So you, you think that there isn't anything coming? And that's fine. I just kind of want to know. Like, will you I ever come around? I can't for sure, you know, what's going on here, because I'm not getting um, anything clear. In my mind, there's not, there's not enough, um, there's not a definite answer. Most likely, you know, he might try to come back, but who cares? You know, I think that you need to live your life. You, you can't wait, you know, you can't wait anymore. No. You've been waiting. Yeah. So what, what, about, what about my love life in general? Is there someone else coming? Why don't you give a try to this man? Why don't you un don't you want to try this relationship? I, I do. I do. I was just curious on okay. what. Concentrate on this one. Concentrate and let me know how it, how it is going. And keep me updated on the progress that, the progress that you make. Because I feel like this so is. One, this one, is the... one question. I, I, I don't want to like overstep my boundary with him because I. I kind of feel the way mm. he is. Like, you know, he will talk with once a week. He'll ask me, like, hey, do you want to meet? We're going to go get, hang mm. out here. But it's not really mm -hmm. dating. It's more of like a, like, we're all going out. Do you want to come? So I know he thinks of me. But where is my boundary? Like, I mean, I, I'll call and I'll say, hey, good morning. Actually, it's not even a call. It's a text. Hey, good morning. But should I just keep doing it randomly? And then just, because every time I've asked him to kind of hang out, like, come over for dinner, he'll tell me yes. And, and he's a doctor. And he, I understand He's got things going on, but it, it, I always feel like he always tells me no. So he's always telling you no? Well, I've asked him a few times to hang out, and it, he's always got something going on. But he'll always ask me, and I'm always open to whatever. I think you'll be able to make it work. I'm not okay. worried about that. I hope I so. I, I just don't want to, I like you to, have I mean, to you have the me. right, the right behavior, right attitude in this, and uh, continue on uh, um, 
building here because you will definitely um, experience something great with this guy. This is the feeling I have. I don't want well, you to good. concentrate on anyone else. Try to make something out of this. Okay, I will. Okay, All right. My love. Can you think maybe by like the holidays or something? Maybe sooner. Okay. Maybe sooner. Okay, well, it was lovely. lovely talking to you. Thank you, you again. Too, thank you. I and um, you, I will let you know when I close on Friday. On Perfect. I'm going to come okay, celebrate. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> Okay, Thanks, Carl. I'm going to go to Catherine in Florida. Hi, Catherine. How are you, my love? Hi, Carmen. I'm doing okay. How are you doing? <laughs> Good to hear your voice. How can I help, uh, my love? Um, I've been, in the last several months, I've been dealing with some loss and grief, and I feel kind of stuck, mm -hmm. and I'm procrastinating with, a, you know, a lot of th mm -hmm. different things that I need to get done. Right. Um, right. So just wondering what you saw with uh, just the ability to kind of move forward and, and things kind of moving on, you know. It's very hard when you lose uh, someone you care. It's very difficult. I mean, you try to, to concentrate on, um, on your career, on the other people around you so that you try to heal. It's, you have to go through a healing process, which takes a while. Right, I've been there. Right. I know what it is to lose your parents. I know what it is to lose your soulmate. It's it's very very difficult. And uh, um, what saves you is uh, putting energy in doing other things. So that also distracts you and makes you feel like you're on a mission. So um, try to uh, to do something like this. It's just even hard to advise you what to do. You know. Right. Because well, I'm trying it's to do very other things, difficult to cope. I yeah, I'm I'm finding that I'm procrastinating a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. So right, yeah, right. So, is there so a you, woman who passed? Um, well, I lost my mom and my husband. Right, I feel very strong, your mom. I feel your mother very strong, and um, uh, I also have, and she shows me an A and an M. What is that? Two initials. Do you have an idea? Um, not sure about the A, but the, the M is, um, Mike, that's my husband. Okay. So then, then it might be him too, because the M refers to him. And I don't know what is the A significant. Do you have a son? Yes. He's on the other like side they... as well. He, right. He There's a well. reference to him. What was okay. his name? Uh, Jason. Okay. Because I feel like they are with him. Like, like they found each other. They found each other. What's the story with a motorcycle? Why am I seeing a motorcycle? I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I don't know anyone who has a motorcycle. I don't know why. This is so bizarre. Because I'm seeing this motorcycle. And it has something to do with your son. And I okay. don't understand. But think about what is the message here. Or a bicycle or something, you know. Okay. I'm not sure what it is. But uh, it, it has to do with your son. And I can tell that they are together. They, they kind of found each other. And your okay. mother is, okay. is happy to be with them. So they're not alone. They're not right. alone. Uh, your husband says that you receive something in the mail. So something comes in the mail, November, December. It's either a check or something or a picture. There, but that is like a message coming from above. It's something totally unexpected. And I want you to keep me posted when that happens and let me know what it is. Oh, okay. Because it's so right. interesting. So interesting. Okay. So, uh, so but the, are you doing you you capable to cope with this? Are you okay coping with this? Um yes, yes. I'm I just, you know, feeling a little stuck, so I'm hoping things move forward and I, I don't know if you see, you know, things moving forward um shortly they are, or they are moving forward in spite of all of this. And one of them is telling me you moving. Do you plan to move in a different area? Um yes, but not just yet. So I don't know when. Yeah. 
It might take a bit of time, but there is a movement as of next year. So a movement and there's like a new beginning. So you're letting something, you're leaving something behind and then you, you have a fresh new start. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's going to be really good. So try to, I know what you're going through. I mean, I feel for you because I like, I'm thinking, oh my God, I know what happened when I lost my mom and then I lost my husband. So I, I, I've been there. I understand right. your pain. I feel it, you know. Yeah. Is there yeah. anything in particular you want to ask about this? Um, well, it's, it's mainly just, you know, it might be the grief, but I don't know, like the, the right. procrastination of right. not dealing with things that I need to deal with. I just, I wish I could, you know, just move forward with them. And I right. didn't know if you had any advice or you saw anything happening with that. Just just in general, being able to just move I, forward. With I things. think you'll be able to move forward. I think moving to a different area will help you a lot. I think concentrating on paying attention to something that the door of the universe will open to you. And it is um, uh, someone coming into your life like... A, friend you there will be somebody helping you through the process of healing but definitely everything has a lot to do with moving in a different area okay so you you see you don't see me staying in the same area you see me moving no i don't different... and i actually okay. don't really recommend and you will have interesting dreams about moving and it's going to be a very good idea to move okay yeah because that, that's one of the things i like i intend to move but i just don't know where I want to move to yet. Don't don't uh, delay it. Don't just do it. Just have the courage to do it. Okay. Mm, that's the most important thing. All right. So thank you and, so much. Uh, you Carmen. will you will be uh, you'll have interesting. I'm curious to see about what is that uh, thing that comes in the mail. What is your husband talking about? Then you'll probably be able to. Let me know pretty soon. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I will love, look up I for love that. you, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you so and, much, uh, Anything you might need me, feel free to text me or call me. I'm here for you because I completely okay. understand what you're going through. Okay. Thank you. I love you, Catherine, by yeah. sweetheart. Love you too, I'm Carmen. I'm going to go to... Oh, I love you, sweetie. Uh, let me go to Patty from Queens. Hi, Patty. How are you, my love? I miss Hi. you. Hi. Hi, Carmen. How are you? Um, what um, happened during the hurricane? Uh, were you hurt? Uh, it was your house? No, no. It, it was not in my area. So the hurricane was three hours away from where I live. So it was not in my area. It was the did other you, side of Florida. Did you feel any effects like rain no, or wind? None. In our, in our area, probably a little bit of rain, but pretty much nothing. It's so interesting. Yeah. Oh, thank God. thank God. Thank yeah, God. But I, you, but on the other side, you still feel for all those souls out there. That yes. They're three yes. hours away, but they like us. You know, we're all the same. Yes. And when somebody suffers, you know, you feel the pain, the suffering. It's just so sad, you know, so sad that all these changes that are happening, you know, to Mother Earth, you know, I don't know where, where is this world going in the future? Is Florida going to sink, go under the water or... Is New York going to go under the water with all this uh, um, warming of the planet? I don't know. I think crime is going to hit or a, a sink New York City before anything. Right, yeah. Very possible, very possible because um, these planetary changes are so dangerous. And, you know, we talk about all the insignificant things, the gossip, the things that happen with celebrities. And you know what? But in reality, you know, we are facing major world problems, major. The yes. way we yes. probably never did in the history of mankind for thousands of years. With the danger of the nuclear war that exists, that is real, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and also, on top of everything, all this um, uh, shift of the possibility of shifting, uh, 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 you know, the two pole is like scary. This is the scary part, you know, yeah. the scariest. Well, let's pray yeah. and send good vibes right. to, exactly. to the world. So we can, if, 
if collectively we will pray, we're very powerful. The collective yeah. mind of the planet is very powerful, but we're not using, we are not together into this, you know, at the mind level. We are not, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, my um, lovely. That, but you doing okay? Everything is okay with you? Yes, I just have a, um, a two part of question. Um, mm -hmm. My company, um, I started in 98, 1998. Three years later, mm -hmm. I became a union member at my job because there was no union when I started. Okay. And, but, okay. Right, so, right. so now, like, every few years, we negotiate a new contract. And it's always with a, rate, right. a wage increase. Right, right. There was actually uh -huh. one year we didn't have no wage increase. But it's like right. uh, sometimes a three-year contract, uh, contract two-year contract, one-year contract. So now we're going to negotiate a new right. contract that's effective from July 1st of this year until mm -hmm. June 30th next year. That's how the contracts mm -hmm. run, from June, July right. 1st of the current year to June 30th mm -hmm. the following year. Okay. Right. So now they told us, we had the union meeting today with the union members, and they were talking about they're going to finally negotiate the contract. Now, this is right. two-parter. They also want to negotiate a um, bonus payment of more, uh, uh -huh. for people who are in my company more than 20 years. They did that the last contract. They want to do it again because uh -huh. um, they, the people that were there um, less than 20 years when the new contract went in effect uh -huh. uh, went into uh, 20 years during the contract. Okay, so now we, right. so now they're saying, because I said that, you know, what about the people who, they make it to 20 years, you know, right. during the that contract. Now they're 20 years right. now, right? They should get. So now they're going to work out for people like me because there's only a few of us. There was only six of us in the last contract. Right. Um, so um, when do you see the contract to get our raises um, to be, not, not for the people 20 years because that's all part. When do you see this uh, contract finish negotiation? Do you think by Christmas time? Or yeah, it's possible Christmas time or the spring. Really? It's going to go on for yeah. a while? It can oh, wow. be if it's not finalized by um, the Christmas. But I do think they will try to get it done by Christmas. Before okay. Christmas, actually. Okay. Before Christmas, okay. yeah. And this that's is money is right. That's the... Sorry? Uh, that's what they. Uh, that's what I'm hoping because, but mm, but it's retroactive right. the money. So that means when they settle yeah. the new contract, it's not the, the. We will still get the the whatever retroactive money from July first. So whatever increase. Well, how many mm -hmm. percentage do you think we increase? Like one percent increase salary, two percent, three percent? It's more. It's more. It can even more than that. Up to five percent increase. It's more percent. Yeah, more percentage oh. of increase. I don't know for sure, but I know it's way more than what you think. Right, 3%. Now, for people like mm -hmm. me who are there more than 20 years, will they, because that's an iffy thing to give us more money for people 20 years, will we get, again, more money for people who are there 20 years? Yeah, absolutely, 100%. You are. We got $40 no. last time. We got $40 oh more God, a that's, week. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. all we... Well, we're working in a non-profit organization. You know, you don't make $100 more a week. You get, like, a percentage. Yeah. You get, like, $10 more a week. You know, that that's the way it's always been, yeah. okay? Do you yeah. do you see $40 more for me for the people, you know, bonus pay? But I see. I personally see more than that, you know. Okay. I see more than that. The more than $40. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's retroactive yeah. because that's a nice. If we get it done by Christmas, that's a nice. Um, they they that's what they hoping for. That's what they trying, and that that is good. But you do you see it happening, or do you see it happening yeah, by spring? Yeah, I really do. I really okay. do see it happening. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of money for you know to pay bills because that's a retroactive I money. I agree. Even if it's forty dollars a week since July, it's, that's yeah, like being rich yeah, that's thir that makes yeah, yeah. That's thirteen weeks. That's over like right. close to a thousand. Yeah, right. Exactly. That's thirteen exactly. weeks. Yeah. Right. Yes, yeah. Because exactly. no, oh no, mm -hmm. that's twenty six weeks right. because we get paid every two weeks. So that's like thirteen. Ah, okay. Paid, right. So, but twenty six yes. is like over a thousand. 
Yeah, it's, it's that was great. By being, yeah, no, I really see this happening by Christmas. We'll well, so that's, as I, yeah, that's a nice Christmas gift. Oh, it really is. <laughs> it really right? Is. Yeah. Yeah, we get to absolutely. pay our bills and buy because I need that, some bills course, to pay. Of course, everybody right. has bills. Oh my God, especially the, this time of the year. Absolutely. No, it's really going to happen. Uh, call me and keep me posted. I want to celebrate it with you. All right. Yeah, thank you. Gonna, thank you so much. Work. I, I love you, my Patty. I'm bye bye. Go to stay, in New York. stay healthy. Okay, love. I love you. Uh, I'm going to go to Koi in New York. Hi, dear. How are you, my love? Hi, Carmen. Greetings to you. Oh. Thank you for being my friend. How are you, my beautiful? I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you, you so you much. You sound a little bit sad. Uh, yes. Why? Um, I feel like uh, the seasonal affective disorder that's called sad. It, it, right. It, it started hitting me, um, I think, Sunday. It started Aww. on Sunday with me. So, Aww. yeah, I, I, nobody knows. You're, you're the only one that knows. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I, I, oh, did, I didn't call about that because that's something that happens to me. It, it happened, it's happening late this time. Usually it starts hmm. like the third week of um, August with me. It's right, just, uh, right. But it's okay. I, 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 yeah, I l- let it, it be okay. Don't think too much about it. You know, the more you think about it, the more the, the more difficult it is to deal with it, you know? Yeah. Just, just so take it very my... easy. Yeah. Thank you. What, um, what here, did you say? Here. Thank you so much. Thank you for caring. Oh, I love here. you. I know. Everything, I love you too. everything else is good with you, my love? It's okay, but I do have a question. Mm-hmm. Sure, um, I'm listening. Last week, last week we didn't get a chance to really, because I, I was the last one and it was like five minutes. And right. um, we had to, so I'm going to get back to that, please, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay. Remember, I don't know if you remember, but I told you about that music box that doesn't work. I bought it and right, I knew it right. doesn't work. Yes, yeah. I started playing. Okay, so you started to tell me something about if I thought it was my brother and that he brought a smallish woman with him that turned out to be, you know, our legal guardian that um, we grew up with. Mm-hmm. And, I'm trying uh, to connect with him, and I see him as you, as you're telling me about him. I see mm. him, and there is a woman by him, his side, which is lighter hair, blondish woman. Mm-hmm. And she's, uh, she's around his age. He might be younger. I'm not sure, hundred percent. Oh. Um, and she, she shows me an L name, an L, like Laura, Lisa. Um, hmm. And she's lighter hair. That, this is who I see by his side. Okay. And he Does also said identity? that. He, sorry. No, go ahead. He also says that he's been trying to make himself acknowledge in the house. Did you feel him in the um, house? Yes, and I was yes. Um, yeah, because he's trying to make sure that you sense him being there. Oh, I sense him. <laughs> and he yes, also ma'am. says to put a glass of water on the table, and you actually you will see the glass moved one or two hours later. So put it in one place, and then don't be All surprised right. if you see the glass being moved in a different part of the table. All right, I will do it's that. It's going to be a very um, like paranormal experience. <laughs> I'd like, it's I'd got, like those. It's going to be fascinating to, to yes, see I, it, you know? I've experienced, I've experienced some paranormal here. here right, right. Home. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. The, the question um, I, I had was, um, at the end, when, we, when the music started to say that, you know, 
that are at the end of the show, you Mm -hmm. um, said that the woman that um, was with him was, you know, the mother. And you said that she was saying something about embrace embrace the change and, and move. And and mm-hmm. that was the end of that was the end of the um the show. So I wanna go back to that please. The message it's interesting, I'm not uh, getting uh, that me- it's it, when you disconnect it's very hard to connect to the same yes. information. And, and I'm not getting you, that, that the rest of the information, for which I'm very upset because I'm trying to okay. finish something no. that I started. But the only thing that I get is that um, uh, you will receive some message. So the message will continue from them uh, and, and from him especially. So you have to see what kind of a message he's trying to deliver to you um, through signs, to. Um, in the energy field, to in dreams, uh, uh, paying attention to the, the things around you. So, uh, for some reason, he says he resonates to the music, to the music box. He resonates to the music because that's all he loves is music. Yeah, he re- he, he resonates a lot. He loves that music. You know, loves yes, that. Yeah, he does. Loves that. Yes, yeah, he does. Yeah, it's it's. Um, it's so touchy. It's like whenever you do that, you feel the spirit being there. Yeah. You understand? Okay, yes. my lovely. Uh, I love you, Koi. Thank you so much for calling me. All right. Call Thank me you, anytime. Carmen. Okay, I will. So I'm going to go you. to um, Susan. Hi, Susan. How are you, my love? Hi, Carmen. Can you hear me? I can hear you, my lovely Susan. How are you? I'm okay. Thanks for taking my call. I really appreciate it. Um, and Absolutely. I'm glad that you're that the hurricane went past you. <laughs> right. Well, um, I wish I've been, we will get rid of them all together, so we don't have them anymore. So they don't affect. Yeah, we need much. to. We need to create fake mountains. If they right. put up fake, mountains, you know, instead of bombs, right. they could. Right, they could right, get rid of. Right. Them. Um. True. So I've been having um some weird dreams about my my ex-husband who passed away in January. Mm-hmm. Um, he's been coming to me in dreams and my my son's birthday, our son's birthday was October 3rd and I had a dream mm-hmm. about him that night. And then he came again last night so I just don't know what he's trying to Susan, if I'm, I have a very weak, weird question to you. Why uh-huh. is your husband showing me a gun? Do you have an idea why? Well, he was a hunter, my ex-husband. Oh, that's why. Yeah. That's why. That, that's why. He showed me that big gun, like the one you go and you shoot animals. You know that that kind of a thing. Yeah. So yeah. So that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, uh-huh. I gave he he had given me a gun to go hunting years ago, and I gave it to mm. my son. So oh, probably maybe that's, that's why. why. And he says he's very proud of his son. He's very proud. Okay. So yeah, he's I just don't happy know what... with the way your son is. Your son changing um, uh, career or planning to do something different? Yeah, he just got another job. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, that's what yeah. he says. He said that he will. Um, he sees his son um, embarking in a different direction, which is gonna be for his own good. Okay. He says also okay. that he has a music that he loves. Do you sometimes play music in the house? Um, yeah, I do. I play some music. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Whenever you play music, you know what I mean. It's uh, and I want you to do that because he's listening. Um, okay. He's listening to the mu- to the music. You know. Right. Yeah. I just feel bad. I feel bad for him because. We were divorced for about twenty eight years, so mm-hmm. right. I, I feel I feel like I should have helped him more. Um, well, you you wanted, but you couldn't. You know, it was not right. up to you. You really okay. thought about that. You wanted to. The intention was there, but it was not up to you. You know, oh, yeah, it was that's not up true. to you. I don't know. Yeah, I'm glad that you agree because the more I think about it, the more the answer is that there was nothing to be done, you know? Yeah. 
Well, I'm just, I'm glad he's coming to me, but I, I kind of, I wasn't sure why or, How did you know, I what go was, from there? Whoops, that was weird. <laughs> uh, I, I couldn't hear you. What did you say? I said I wasn't sure why he was, you know, coming to me in my dreams and stuff. Because he, he the connection with you is through the sun. The, the, uh -huh. the soul all of a sudden needs to... Uh, protect you. The the soul wants to acknowledge. He wants you to acknowledge him. Um, he, and his his he decided to be present. I think it's beautiful. I think it's very okay. healing. I think it, yeah. you feel him like supportive of you. I think that that's amazing. That's yeah, the magic okay. of connecting to the other side. And let, let it be. He smiles at me. You know, he smiles at me and shows me a big cake. I don't know if there's another birthday coming or something else happening. Yeah, my but birthday it, is the twenty. My birthday is the twenty ninth. So, okay, that's right. That's that's the big cake. That's the big cake. You see how accurate <laughs> he is. So, you, I don't know anything. And he is just uh, coming through with specific things, you know. So, what is another nine, ten days to your birthday? And he's just showing me the big cake of a birthday, you know. And probably yeah. that's one of the reasons he's coming through because your birthday is coming, and and then reassuring reassuring you that he he absolutely loves you, no question okay. about it. He loves you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, my, yeah, okay. my beautiful. I love Thank you, Carmen. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm gonna go, Tina. Uh, hi, lovely Tina. How are you, my sweetheart? Hi, Carmen. Hi, Tina. <laughs> Thank you so much for getting my phone call. I'm so excited Absolutely. to hear your voice. Okay, my sweetheart. How can I help? I admire your I work you? and I admire everything you share with us. Thank you so much, first of all. Um, oh. I wanted to hear from you if you if you know why so far my, my life has been so tangled, so broken, so... Um, I, I cannot say messed up, but very, very tangled. The the roads were so. Right, I understand. I it's, it's something divorces. coming from from within you. We need to fix some. It, it, you you need your own healing. You need to put yeah. things together. You need to sit and re-examine everything that's happening. You know, to bring to put the pieces of the puzzle together. Because I feel like in the next three, four months, you might go through a period of, of uh, rebuilding yourself. And then you go into an extraordinary time of uh, when you feel you reconstruct everything, when you're moving forward and you break through. And you're not going to have the feeling you have now anymore. Your feeling will be, wow, I'm doing so great. Everything is magic. Everything is better than I ever expected. So you jump to the other extreme. From the extreme of the sense of I'm falling apart to, hey, I'm doing better than ever. This is uh, uh, the time I was waiting you, the time of recognition, the time of achievement, the time of celebration is ahead of you. Um, so whenever you say, well, I feel broken, you can add, uh, it's in the past, I'm not anymore. So when you verbalize things, make sure you add a positive word that breaks through that and projects you into the next moment. And the next moment is actually a very good moment. So what's ahead of you is excellent. What happened in the past should stay in the past. And from there, you have a sense of feeling broken, feeling uh, lost, feeling betrayed, feeling disappointment, feeling that everything is falling apart, but not anymore, you understand? So I'm not opening anymore. that big door, like see that huge door in front of you, step through the door, and see what a beautiful uh, image the future has for you. Pro project that. Put that out there in motion. I, I definitely uh, been through about two years of transformation, meaning I read everything I could. I tried to understand uh -huh. whatever happened with did me because I thought maybe the broken marriages were because of my uh, actions. Um, and I try to understand. No, not what necessarily. I I, don't, 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 don't uh, blame yourself. I don't think so. No. But, but um, don't, don't if you think see it's my because future, of you, it isn't. 
I think I think that was meant to happen. I think it didn't really work uh, the right way, and and just let it be, uh, because you it closed that door. Close that door, like I said at the beginning of the show, oh, yeah. and throw throw the keys of, of 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 that room where you deposit everything of the past. Throw them away so you never can reopen that door. There's yeah, there is I a did. way better you in the near future. Because you did your inner work, you just have to see the results. You're in a yeah, phase in see, which the results are coming. Do you see anything in my future? Yes, a lot of wonderful things, I promise you. A, a rebuild of your private life, a, a business that you're going to start with two people, somebody coming into your life that is way better than anybody has ever been. Uh -huh. And it might sound too great, but it's really happening for you. And there's a Thank person so with a name like Daniel or David. So I'm at the end of the show, Tina, but I love you and thank you so much for calling me and thank don't you, hesitate to call you. me anytime. I love you thank guys. You so I'm much. Carmen Hara. I love and you. for all of you, I was not able to take your calls. Please forgive me, but I'll be with you next.